Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I see some breaking news on Aurora Cannabis, and they are already climbing up. The market has just opened up, and they are already starting to climb on some of this news. Now let's take a look at this news. Aurora Cannabis projects Q2 sales of 50 to 55 million. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I bought 500 shares of Aurora Cannabis in anticipation of strong earnings. Aurora Cannabis provides guidance for the second quarter of fiscal 2019, anticipating net revenues of 50 to 55 million. Wow. Just so you guys know, that would be a record. That would be the most any cannabis company has ever made in a quarter. Company provides production guidance and is tracking to achieve positive EBITDA in second calendar quarter 2019. Aurora Cannabis Inc., Aurora, or the company on the TSX ACB, on the New York Stock Exchange ACB and in Frankfurt, 21P WKN A1C4WM today provided an expected revenue range for the second quarter of the company's fiscal 2019, Q2 2019. The period ended December 31st, 2018. Full result results will be published on Monday, February 11, 2019, pre market, followed by a conference call later that day details for which can be found at the end of this release based on preliminary unaudited results the company anticipates revenue for q2 2019 of between 50 million and 55 million net of excise taxes compared to 11.7 million for that same quarter in the prior year and compared to 29.7 million for the previous quarter ended september 30 2018 q1 2019. The results reflect an anticipated revenue growth rate in excess of 327% compared to Q2 2018 in excess of 68% compared to Q1 2019. Revenue growth for the quarter was driven by the company's strong position in the adult consumer use market in Canada. Continued shipments of medical cannabis to Aurora's expanding base of approximately 71,000 patients. Wow, it just keeps growing. In Canada, and relatively stable supply restricted shipments to its growing international markets. This will be, I tell you right now, this company will be the first company in the cannabis sector to make a billion in revenue. You heard it here first. The company continues to ramp its production capacity up from 70,000 kilograms per annum as reported in November 2018 to approximately 100,000 kilograms annum today and reaffirms its expectation to achieve at least 150,000 kilograms per annum of production capacity within the first calendar quarter of 2019, Q3 2019. Aurora defines production capacity as representing all planted rooms approved by Health Canada, factoring in anticipated harvests at maturity analyzed for the following 12-month period based on an average historical yield per plant. Based on its current production capacity of 100,000 kgs per annum and the company's cultivation and harvest schedules, Aurora expects its production available for sale to be approximately 25,000 kgs equivalent of cannabis in the company's Q4 2019, the period ending June 30th, 2019, with continued production volume increases in the subsequent quarters. It's only going to get bigger, people. Aurora defines production available for sale as representing the company's production capacity harvested and processed into a final product for the sale. Paired with strong current and future anticipated demand for the company's products across its different market segments, this is expected to result in continued strong revenue growth. Love these guys. The market introduction of higher margin products such as soft gels, as well as its vape ready CBD oil cartridge product Aurora Cloud is expected to contribute to the sustained strong gross margins during fiscal 2019. Additionally, Aurora is looking forward to the upcoming finalization of the draft regulations, which will allow derivative higher margin products such as vape pens, beverages, and edibles to be sold in the Canadian adult use market during 2019. That will be huge. Additionally, discipline cost management is anticipated to result in SGNA costs to be roughly consistent with the previous quarter, including a full quarter of costs related to all integrated subsidiaries in Medrelief, Anandia, and Agropro. 
Consequently, management believes the combination of subsequential revenue growth and disciplined cost management positions the company well to achieve sustained positive EBITDA beginning the fiscal Q4 calendar Q2 2019. The preliminary estimated financial results and other data for the three months ended December 31st, 2018 set forth above are subject to the completion of the company's financial closing procedures. These data have been prepared by and is responsible of the company's management and it was approved by management on January 7, 2019. Aurora's independent registered public accounting firm KPMG LLP has not audited, reviewed, or performed any procedures with respect to the company preliminary financial results and other data and, according, and accordingly does not express an opinion or any other form of assurance with respect thereto. The company currently expects that its final results of operations and other data will be consistent with the estimates set forth, but such estimates are primarily preliminary and Aurora actually results, actual results of operations and other data could differ materially from these estimates due to the completion of its financial closing procedures, final adjustments and other developments that may arise between now and the time such unaudited interim consolidated financial statements for the three months ended December 31st, 2018 are issued. Management Commentary Aurora continues to execute effectively across all market segments as demonstrated by its revenue growth anticipated to exceed 68% as compared to the last quarter. That is substantial. That is unbelievable. Supported by continued strong performance in the Canadian adult consumer use market, our consistent and high quality production continues to significantly ramp up as expected, fueling even further growth. This is Terry Booth, CEO of Aurora. Going forward, we see sustained growth demand from the adult usage market as evidenced by public statements from the Canadian provinces, as well as strong patient-driven demand for medical cannabis in Canada and abroad. These factors together with our focus on discipline, management of operating expenses, and our growing portfolio of high margin products put us in a position to rapidly achieve positive EBITDA within the next two quarters. Facilities video. The company today released updated video of its production facilities including Aurora Sky, Aurora O, Aurora V, Medrelief Bradford, Aurora Mountain, ICC Labs, and Angra Pro. The footage demonstrates the technological advanced nature of Aurora's diverse production assets, as well as the mature nature of its operations. The video material may be viewed here. Interesting. And they talk about the conference call. Aurora scheduled its conference call to discuss the results for its second quarter ended December 31st, 2018, which will be released on Monday, February 11th, 2019 pre-market. The conference call will be hosted on that day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time by Terry Booth, Chief Executive Officer. So you can find all the information right here. And you can learn more about Aurora right here. Now, real quickly, I just want to take a look at this video. Why not, right? Let's see.
Wow. I mean, this company is just unbelievable. So what do you guys think about this news? This is breaking news, and I think this is incredible news. This is incredible revenue. Like I said, this revenue growth puts them as the largest revenue generating cannabis company right now for the quarter in the world. They are the biggest. They're the baddest. They've always been number one. I told you guys they're my number one pick. And they're up slightly right now based on some of this news. Let the news circulate. This is your boy, Rich. If you're not winning, you're most likely not watching. Markets are popping. Look at huge. Up 12% right now today. Exploding. All right, guys. I got to get back to work. I got to keep my eyes on the prize. Let me know what you think about this news. Aurora Cannabis projects Q2 sales of 50 to 55 million. This is your boy, Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. I'm out. Peace. If you like this, smash the like button. Share it everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. Holler at your boy. Peace.